it's going to be a big day today because I'm going to work on this aeonium patch. I'm going to completely pull them out, rearrange them, maybe expose some of the, the better looking ones, remove some of the small ones. Generally just redo this whole area. Reason one of the the main reason why I want to redo the aeoniums is because they're starting to creep towards the, the footpath. And it's about time I did some cleaning. So yeah. There's also a bit of time pressure here because uh well it's pretty sunny in the morning. According to the forecast, we, we are going to have showers in the afternoon, so maybe 1 p.m. onwards. So we'll see. I hope, I hope, I really hope I get to finish this before then. I'm still wondering how I would approach this. And maybe, maybe the easiest way is just to remove all of them, except maybe for the larger ones at the back. Yeah, just remove them and put them back in. Maybe that's what I'll do. I find it pretty interesting that ever since I moved this Aeonium Sunburst to a more exposed spot, it started turning pink. I guess it's getting stressed and maybe just it's just getting dormant, which is why it started to get some, some marks. I'm not really concerned though, because it's still spring. Now that I'm, now that I'm looking at this, I'm sort of thinking that maybe I I should just remove all of the velours, and maybe just keep keep the short black, because the short black they don't they don't grow really tall. Maybe j this one just grew tall because it's trying to. Uh, trying to compete with the, with the velours for the sunlight but I wonder what it looks like once I remove all of the velours from the front let's see how it goes I'm still not sure how, how I'm going to approach this but one of my thoughts one of my main thoughts is just to pull pull this out one by one I hope I can do this right. I just need to find the main stock. Oh, it's going it goes too deep. So I got the first one. The first one is out. I'm going to keep it in this wheelbarrow for now. And if you see a bunch of smaller plants small offsets around it wow and funny enough only the front is purple the rest are green and this is obvious because they're, they're not getting enough sun inside so let's see let's do the rest I'm not sure if you can see it but the main stalk is there, so I just pull this out, and number two, that was pretty easy, are you helping Zaki, you want to dig, <laughs> bub? And this one has fallen over. I guess this was just trying to hold hold itself against the other aeoniums. But it's too heavy, so I'll probably have to pull this out. Plant this elsewhere. So, in you go. Stay there. Okay. Now I have the, the short black exposed. And it's funny that there are two small aeoniums here. They, in, they haven't seen to have grown at all. Yeah, I remember planting this in a while back. But anyway, let's push on. I'll keep 
removing this once. Wow, this has thick roots. So there's three now. And I'm going to remove the last one. All right, there's one, two, three, four, four velours, four velour bush. Now I get to see the small ones that I planted a while back last autumn. Looks like they just, they just got stunted because they were underneath. These are some Iyon yung Gucciese, or also known as Ballerina. Maybe I'll just have them spread here. Because I really want to keep this short black here. Maybe just plant some small ones around it. Maybe just to fill this gap. Maybe that's what I'll do. Alright. Now that I've cleaned up that side, I'm going to work on this one next. I'm going to pull up some of the velours here. And I hope it's as easy as the previous one. So I'll go work on this one first. Just pull slowly. And there we go. This one down. Also have to work on this one because this is creeping out. Where's the main stock? It's this. Yeah, I think I found it. So pull gently. There. Starting to look a, li a little bare. Yeah, it's starting to look bare. I guess I have to rearrange all of them. So I might as well remove this as this too as well. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's see. It's a big stock here. Two big stocks. Work on this one first. Oh, just a couple of them went together. I guess I also have to remove this one, and that's what I'm going to do. Finally, finally this one. Hmm. Alright. I think I've done enough. I think I've done enough damage. But I'm going to fix it shortly. There's enough space now for me to work in and I've by doing what I did just now I am able to expose some of the smaller plants that I planted here before these poor things I'm still going to have a think about which ones would be the front of the clump 
Yeah, I'm keen on leaving this big green ones, tall green ones here. Because they can grow tall, so I just need lower plants to cover the, the stalks. And I like keeping this in the center. So maybe I'll just break out some of this clump. These are the blushing beauties. And they would they turn a uh, pretty shape and color. So maybe I'll have to move them out. Maybe I can pull out this clump and move it there to the other side. That way there, there's some space here. Yep, maybe that's what I'll do. Look at those. It might be hard to believe, but, but each one of these clumps used to be started out from a small cutting looking exactly like this one. So imagine how much a growing season changes them. Well, I think I'm okay with the middle. I'm thinking of removing some of the ones at the back and replace them with maybe one of the taller ones from here. Yeah. So just remove this, uh, the blushing beauties. So I want them to be exposed to the sun. Well, this one is quite hard there. Okay, that's good enough. So I'm removing three of them. And in their place, would go in some of the velours, larger velours. All right. So how am I going to approach this? The area is quite confined. So what I'm going to do is pick one of these. I think this is perfect. Because it has a lot of clearance around the stem. So if I drop it inside of this area, behind the, the starburst, it's going to fill up the gap pretty well. So all I have to do is to position it in there and uh, pour a lot of soil around the, the stems just to keep it upright and hopefully within a, a week or within a few weeks it would have grown enough roots to hold it to hold itself to the ground so first i'm going to do a bit of staging just to see how it fits Yeah, I think that looks okay. Yeah, that's enough. So all I, ha I have to do now is to just fill fill the area with soil. There are still still some plants in the bottom that I might have to remove first. So I'll go ahead and pull them out. Yeah, it's this one. Is there another one? Yes, there's another one. Man, looks like I planted up a lot of them. Should I fill it some more? Let's have a better look. No, I think this is enough. Well, I could... I could cram two of them. But... Going from my past experience... I think one is enough because it will expand to fill, fill the area nicely. Yes, one clump will do. I'm just going to position this in the center. Yeah, that's a better positioning. I might have to twist it around a bit before I add soil. But otherwise, I'm happy with, with that specific plant going over in that spot, the, the patch. So I have repositioned it and gave it enough soil to make it stand and now I'm just going to fill it up with more soil to cover the exposed roots.
There. That should be enough. Don't you think so, Zach? Enough? Yay! I want to expose more of the blushing beauties, so I think I'm going to reserve the spot to the right for the one for the clumps that I pulled up. And I have three here. This three. I'm not sure if I should plant all three or just maybe two. So we'll, let's go ahead and stage them. So this first one will go here. This looks to be the bigger, bigger one. Maybe here. Uh, yeah. Somewhere there. This one would stand somewhere here. Would I need three after all? Huh. Yeah, I think I might need the three of them. But I still have to think about what to do in the lower area. I have a couple of options. The first one is to continue this line of imbricata. Although I know eventually I'll have to remove them again. Or I could plant some of the... I don't know. Yeah, maybe some of these aeoniums. Yeah, maybe this is what I'll do. So I'm done staging the three of them and it's time to top up the soil. That's what I'm going to do now. I think I need one more shovel full. Yep. There. Good enough. So around the base of the clump, I'm going to add some low-lying plants. Like these Aeonium Haworthy. So they, they are just going to sit at the bottom. going to start with this too if I don't have enough I'm just going to pull more from the garden I have a whole lot of this start with them start with this clump you here Do I want to add more here? Maybe I might. Let's see if I have more. I've already planted most of them in pots, but I guess it won't hurt to pull some of them out. So I pick a third clump of the Haworthy. Maybe I'll put it in the center it's the tallest of the, the bunch that I just pulled I'm just going to make a hole for it to sit in there you go and cover the roots and do the same for this tiny clump So I have them laying, of an ang laying at an angle, which I think looks pretty cool. Alright, I have Aeonium Haworthy on both sides now. And by doing this, 
I am declaring that these are the borders of the Aeonium territory. So anything that goes beyond these clumps will be removed. There's still a blank spot here. I wonder if I should replace the Aeonium here or just wait for the short black to fill up. Well, I want to have more of the short black. Maybe I could pull out some of the offsets, let them root, then transfer here, transfer them here at the bottom. But this is something that takes time, and I'm not going to rush it for now. I guess I just have to fill up the soil. I'm just going to top up some some of the loose soil here. preparation for whatever cuttings I decide to put in. There. That should be enough. Yeah, this short black is my favorite. One of my most favored arboreums. Maybe I should I should get some offsets from the back. Just plant them here. Yeah, I'll go do that. It goes pretty deep, so I might need both hands to remove the offsets. So I got four cuttings from my Aeonium short black, mostly from the back. And I am now ready to set them back in the soil. Since I've already prepared the loose soil here, it's a simple thing to just stick them in. There. I think that will do for now. You know what, I think this, this looks better now. So it's less crowded than before. And there's enough space for the short black to grow into. It's really good because I love short blacks. And it would be really nice to see them overtake this area. Now what about all of these Aeoniums? You know, maybe for now I'll just have to move them back into pots until I figure out what I want to do with them. It took a while, but I'm finally done potting them all up. I'm not sure what I want to do with them. Maybe I'll just have to sell or swap some of them off. I'll have to figure out what to do with most of them. So I haven't, I haven't thought about where to place them yet. So it's either I bring them to swaps or sell them off. And as I was contemplating last night, I'm going to fill this up, fill this area with Sidum Pachyphylums. And the first step to doing that is to add more soil. Now that there's enough soil, I can plant the cuttings in. So these are the cuttings that I got last night. I'm just going to spread them out. So they would fill the area. There, I think that's enough. As for the remaining jelly bean cuttings, I'm going to just stick them here. These are my Aurora, which are the lighter types, which tend to turn pink and red, much more red than the usual ones. It's going to scatter them along this side because on the other side I intend to put some of my regular jelly beans, the green ones.
I would just like to see them fill up this spot. So maybe next year. Yeah, maybe next year this would be overflowing. Since I just newly potted them up, I'm going to leave them under the eaves where they don't have to stress for a while. 